Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Cracked Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we're going to be building the Douglas CH-47 Skytrain. So this is an aircraft used by the military to transport troops, and it's based on the DC-3. And this particular paint job is the invasion uh, stripes during the D-Day invasion of Normandy. Um, you can see they have like this door open right here. And that's where all the troops would uh, come out, like the paratroopers, like the 101st Airborne. 82nd airborne and um, yeah uh, someone requested this a week ago so I decided to um, upgrade design I actually made an animation on this on my main channel crafty fox a little bit of a while ago but I did upgrade the design uh, since then and uh, the model for this is built by Mick Alpaca and me and I just made it originally it was like light gray and then I just changed it uh, to make it green and added um, a bunch of little details everywhere and yeah let's get started on this build so first thing we do uh, this is the flying model by the way it's not like landed so all the wheels are like retracted so uh, just be aware that you might want to have like flying in the sky all right so first off we're going to start off with like this green terracotta and then we're going to make it 15 blocks long so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And after we do that, let's take stone brick slab, add one to the end. And then we're going to take uh, green terracotta, add two like that. And then uh, stone brick slab on top like that. Then we're going to work on um, this part right here. It's going to go diagonal towards the sides. So I just add two green terracottas to each side. And also add some more stone brick slabs. One on the bottom right here. And then let's add the cockpit. So it's going to be black stained glass block. Make a V shape like that. And on the top of it, just add stone brick slabs like this. I believe that's how it looks. Yep. And then we're going to have green terracotta on the top in the middle. And that is going to be 16 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So once we do that, uh, let's add stone brick slabs to the sides. Of the top one like this. Then the other side. And then we're going to have... Um, quartz block in the back. Let's place an iron trap door on the top of it just to make it uh, slope up more gradually. And then uh, another brick slab, quartz slab, another brick slab, then quartz block. And actually this is not even quartz. This is white concrete. So let me grab in white quartz right now. We will use the white concrete for um, those little details, like the numbers. All right, so now let's add, I think that's black wool. Okay, so we're going to have the black wool, and that's going to be three blocks. So just add it under here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we can also extend it uh, with the quartz blocks down here so they all like um, line up together and the ones in the back I think they're a little bit shorter so <laughs> let me just check it out because I can't really see from here okay so this is three and then this is also three but it has a slab on top okay so this we should make it three all right so these two are going to be um, quartz slab another brick slab and then just goes along like that you can fill in this part with quartz and it appears to be three dimensional yeah it pops out a little bit so uh, for this back section we want to have black wool like that sticking out and then next is going to be quartz block with slabs on top and the bottom all right Then we're going to have um, green. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. 
We're gonna have green terracotta. Let's add a two by two at the back of it, like this. Then on the bottom, let's have um, another brick stairs. This is gonna be where like the wheel is. So just have that at the bottom and another brick slab underneath. So this is the back wheel. All right, so next we're gonna have um, yellow concrete block. Just place that right here. And green in the middle of that. And then we're gonna have green on top of the yellow and next to the yellow. Uh, diagonally up is gonna be our white concrete block. And then let's work a bit down here. So let's add three blocks of green right here. One, two, three. And let's add a two by two here. And another two by two on top of that. Then we can connect this part with a diagonal. So it, it just uh, smoothens out. Then we're gonna have um, stone brick stairs. Just place that in that corner. We're also going to have a wooden button. I think it's some sort of a light on top. And stone brick slab for the rest of the uh, vertical stabilizer. All right, so once we do that, we can take out our green. And let's add one down here towards the back. And below that is a stone brick slab. In the middle of that is green again. Then we're gonna have stone brick slab, like two of them in the middle, like so. And this part is where it's, I think it's gonna be asymmetrical because uh, this part has the door right there. So um, let's do the part with the door first. So we're gonna have two greens and then skip a block so that there, there's like a hole for the door place another wall like that while the other side we're just going to make it um, a two by four so it's four blocks long just solid green the other side fill it in so it matches and then let's do the front area so there's going to be green like this and then we're going to switch it up to white concrete I made it the same both sides so just place it like that so it kind of looks like a checkerboard if we place the green after it. So that's going to be like the huge numbers on the side of the aircraft for uh, identification. And then I'm going to have a um, pillar of green again. Then we're going to just paint the bottom side so add in the bottom row like so. And on top is going to be where the windows are going to be. So it's going to be facing backwards. So right here, take our stone brick stairs, place one, skip a block, add another one, skip a block, add another one, skip a block, add another one, so that there's like four pairs of these tiny windows, which you can actually look out of if you uh, walk in the aircraft. All right, so we're going to have our green in the middle of that. And after we do that, we can add in uh, some stone brick slab to the bottom of the aircraft like this part. Okay, so this could be one stone brick slab like this, I believe, or maybe not, maybe here. Yeah, right where the door is, there's gonna be one. And behind that is just like two stone brick stairs like this. All right, and for the rest, let me check that out. All right, so in the front, it's gonna be, let me see if I did this right. Okay, so three upside down stairs. So one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, good, Gucci. <laughs> All right, now let's work a bit on the back. Let me do the tail a bit. So uh, right where the yellow is, we'd add three um, stone brick slabs underneath. So one, two, three, like that. And we're going to go a bit of a diagonal. So it is two blocks long. All right, so let's just do the shape. So that is two, another two, 
And there might be, yeah, another two. So it looks like that. Let me do the same thing on the other side. So at three right like that and make uh, this diagonal with two, two, and a third two. So it's six blocks uh, wide. And the rest is pretty much the same. We're just going to leave like a hole near uh, the back section. So it should look like that. See there's a hole in the middle close to the uh, vertical stabilizer. And the top of it is going to be a uh, green carpet. So let's cover that up like so. And then we're going to add um, some detail on the roof. And this is apparently supposed to be a window or some kind of glass. And that's going to line up with this white concrete, which is an iron trap door. And there is also uh, this rod we're going to add on top, um, iron bar. And that's behind the last window, like so in the middle. All right, cool. So then we're going to have. Um, this area right here so let's fill that in with green both sides and that's how you build the fuselage so now we can add in the giant wings so um, this is four blocks long cool and skip one away from the back so one two, three, four, and then skip one away from the back so we don't need that. And just fill in this rectangle on uh, both sides. So go over here, one, two, three, four, and then skip one from the back, one, two, three, four, and then connect it together so it's like a giant rectangle. That's the start. Then we're going to have uh, this layer right here. So this is where the invasion starts. <laughs> the invasion stripes are going to start. So let me try to get this right. All right, it goes in a bit. So just go in diagonal, add uh, quartz slab. And then we're going to have a uh, quartz block. All right, cool. Let's go line it up to the back. All right, and then we're going to have, let me just do the same thing on the other side so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. So I think it looks like that, yeah. And we're going to add in stone brick slabs in the back like this. And a quartz slab so it lines up with the rest. All right, so let's add in um, the engine. So this is the propeller. And that's going to be skip two blocks away from the fuselage. And then there's just like these two green blocks sticking out like that. Now on either side of it, we're going to have cobblestone wall, just two of them. And also, at the tip is going to be a uh, black wool block with a stone button on the inside of it. And there also is a wheel under here, so let's add that as well. That's going to be right behind the cobblestone wall, so right here in the middle. So it should line up with the propeller. So let's add uh, stone buttons to the sides of it so we know it's a wheel for sure. <laughs> and then we're going to take a stone brick slab, add uh, th three on top. So one, two, and it kind of goes into the wing a bit. So one, two, three. Also on the bottom is just two of them. So just add two in the front of the wheel and one in the back of the wheel. Yep. Then we can add our uh, propellers. So I use uh, another brick fence. So two in the top and the middle. 
And for the bottom, I use slab, so we got that nice diagonal. So go right here, just add it like so. That's what it should look like. Same thing over here. All right. Cool. So now uh, we'd have um, the rest of it. So let's take another brick slab and let's begin the rest of it. So I think it, it all lines up right. So just to go up a slab. So it looks like this. And I think that's pretty much it. You just connect it to the other side. Make that double uh, in the middle. And we're going to have... This actually looks like an Oreo. So let's just make an Oreo with it. So another brick and then uh, quartz slabs in the middle of that. And then another brick. So we got that um, black, white, black. And there is also going to be like a white after this, so let me see what that's like. All right, so the white part goes in a bit, and yeah, it's it's pretty much like the other side. It just goes in a bit, and just make sure like the edges they have like the slab, so it kind of looks cooler. And do this side. Let's go in a slab, like so. All right, so we're done with the invasion stripes. Now let's add the rest of the wing. So there's going to be this area right here, which is um, a four by five, I think. So one, two, three, four. And just fill in the rest. So the back of the wing is mostly straight. You can see the this goes right across. Uh, just like the front part, that's mainly where the diagonals are happening. Except at the very tip, there's going to be a little bit of a round shape. So I think I did it. Alright, so now this area right here. So just one, four, two. Just remember that. So take our stone brick slab, add one right here, and then go in a bit, add four. So it's like one, two three, four, and then two at the end, like that. All right, and then we're gonna go to the back section and just go straight across, except the very end, and just skip a block so it looks like this. Now let's fill in the rest <coughs> of the wing. Do the other side, one, four, two. So one, four, and then two. And the back is mostly straight except for the very end. And just fill it in. Uh, put on some green carpet on top so we don't get that gray color showing up. All right. Let's go do the same thing over here. And I wonder if that's going to be the end of the tutorial. Uh, but we'll see if we have anything left to do. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let me check it in one last time. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it on how to build the Douglas CH. I mean, not CH, C-47 Skytrain from World War II using the Invasion Stripes. Uh, special thanks to Mika Apaka for actually designing uh, the original model for this. And uh, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.